Our numbers have grown beyond wildest expectation. Yet winter is nearly upon us. Only a city could hold us now. Let us honor the fallen with future victories. And the blood above Marcus Crassus. We'll make final stand against Rome. Many of us will fall. So that all may live free! Whatever happens to my people, it happens because we choose for it. We decide our fate. Hey, bodybuilding.com. It's Liam McIntyre from Spartacus War of the Damned, here to tell you about the guy that changed my life, changed my training, changed my shape. This is Tyrone Bell. Tell him a little bit about yourself. I am the official Spartacus trainer, and I am the man responsible for what you see here. <laughs> when Liam got picked for the lead role, he was what they considered absolute super talent on, in front of the camera. They weren't 100% happy where his body was, and neither was he. So they brought me in early, um, what we call pre-production, and we started training with him probably about six weeks out. And that was a mass building phase. I didn't care about cutting up anything like that. We had to pack mass on him as much as possible in that six weeks. Because after that six weeks, he had to go through what we call boot camp. It's fighting, it's gymnastics, it's getting him up to fight speed. And that basically cut him up. And then we had to start the hypertrophy phase again throughout the season. We fit workouts in where we can. Production tries to schedule as much as possible, but it may be thrown. You know, they might finish a scene early. And then it's like, Tyrone, you got half an hour. And that's where I guess we had to develop a efficient workouts that would fit into time slots and that's where I came up with the Pacific thing because the average workout we had was 20 minutes long. So I developed these 19 minute workouts and heavily hypertrophy based because the guys had to look big. We're going to blow up arms today. This arm workout comprises of a number of supersets. We're going to be working these supersets with compound and isolation detailing exercises. We're going to have our mass builders in there, like the Easy Bar Curl, accompanied with some detailing extensions. And you're going to find that format the whole way through this workout. Finishing off with two exercises that are going to take you to absolute failure. But the most important piece of equipment to this workout is this, the stopwatch. Every second is accounted for. 1,140 seconds start as soon as you walk in that gym. So grab the stopwatch, let's get ready, here we go. First exercise, easy bar curls, tricep extensions with a chain. The first superset is gonna be 10 reps, 10 reps. And what you're gonna find is this easy bar, our reps are gonna drop, while our reps on the extensions climb. I actually came on in season one, Blood and Sand. I came on as the Crixus stunt double. Jumped on, started learning the fights, and it wasn't long before I actually ended up helping all the cast with their nutrition, their training. Next thing I was in charge and enforcing everyone's nutrition and training. Okay, immediately, no rest, jump on here. You gotta hit 10 on this as well. I just spent so long training with Al Poppleton, who probably at the time, very rightly, was like, more is more. Just work till you can't work anymore. And for where I was at, it was a really good mind state to get myself into. But Ty's like, all right, so if you want to grow some muscle mass, we're going to have to change this thing. And I'm like, but, but no, 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 I've got this worked out. I know what to do. I, I'm just going to lift more. So no, I, no, no, dude, you you're don't You're not going to lift more, you're going to go to sleep. <laughs> okay. Set one done, we've got 45 seconds rest. What you're gonna be finding in this superset is the weight is gonna increase on the easy bar curl, but your reps are gonna drop. Well, this one here, your extensions, the weight is gonna go down and your reps are gonna be coming up. We're gonna move apart from each other, but they're working back to back, so you're gonna get a mean pump through the arms. All right, let's load this weight because I've only got 25 seconds left. All right, this one here, I'm gonna hit eight. This one here, I'm gonna hit 12. The reason we're doing this is so we're getting that heavy hypertrophy on our biceps, this one, and working in a hypertrophy range with our triceps that are a little higher on this. Okay, my 45 seconds starts now. Remember, tempo is extremely important. With all these exercises back to back, every second's accounted for. We still want that two seconds up, one second down. And this one here, one second up, two seconds down. Let's load it up, because I'm going six reps on this now. I'm going to lighten this, and we're going to hit 14 reps. The 
the hard part for me every day was looking at you training huge weights that I was always trying to like match, even though I had this not experienced body. That's great as well. And normal people as well, you had that goal. Somebody, you know, you follow, and might not be your training partner, but you watch training videos of these guys, and you know, that's what I want to be. That's what I want to be lifting mm. and stuff yeah, like totally. that. So, but you, you know, you had that in your corner mm. like every day. This exercise one, superset done. Our biceps just went through a heavy mass phase, which means we're working the low hypertrophy range, while our triceps, we're working the higher rep range for hypertrophy. We're now gonna swap that up. Next exercise is gonna be our triceps. We're gonna be working in the low range, our biceps are in the high range. The reason for that is we've only got one workout a week that we hit our arms, 1,140 seconds. This all comes from working with Carlos Spartacus, in particular Liam. And when you're given 19 minutes to train him, you have gotta be on par. So I want the same from you guys. I count every second, follow this to a T and you'll get the same results. Welcome to exercise two. It's our second superset. What we're gonna find here is our buys and tries. The roles are now reversed. Our triceps will be working in the lower rep range of hypertrophy, and our biceps are in the higher rep range of hypertrophy. 10 reps here, 10 reps here, and then we're gonna work away from each other. So let's get this underway. We're gonna be doing some skull crushes for the tries, and we're doing some cable curls for the biceps. The common misconception when you say we're gonna be training 19 minutes and we're gonna put muscle on is, nah, it can't be done. It's not enough, but it is. The proof is in the pudding. You look at these guys and they've packed lean muscle mass over time, especially under the workload that they've got. It's a long-term game, because mm -hmm. like near the end of War of the Damned, I started to go, you know what, I do see what you're seeing, I do see the change. Yeah. You know, I could, it, it had been happening for a long time, but I didn't want to believe it, because I was used to being the other guy. Have I yeah. thanked you for that yet? <laughs> Use that 45 seconds rest to load your weights up. Use some common sense. Make sure all your exercises are close within each other in the same area, so you don't have to be running from one side of the gym to the other. This one I'm looking at, eight repetitions here. My biceps, we're gonna go up to 12. This also works for the everyday folk. There's people out there that are super busy. Family life, careers. If they follow this, they're gonna get the same benefits that these people who are shooting on Spartacus with workloads that are crazier than theirs. Okay, one more set to go. This is the failure one, so let's get to it. Last set, this entire arm workout used to be Liam, his favorite workout. One of his body parts that he lacked was the triceps. This exercise was our main mass builder for the triceps. Ty is the, the master of hypertrophy training, I suppose. The hard task master of hypertrophy training. <laughs> and I'm sitting there going, well, he's massive, so this is gonna work out great. Like, you've actually changed the way I look at training and changed the way I diet and changed the way I live my life. Straight away onto here, 14 to failure. We had to be training the entire time throughout the seasons. <laughs> yeah, which was and rough. The time frames we were given for training, the workouts not only had to be effective, they had to be very, very time conscious. You're gonna find the failure feeling different on each component of the superset. Here you're failing under heavy load. Here you're failing when the lactic acid buildup is so great. So it is quite a different feeling. You may feel sick, especially with the high rep ranges, but this is where you cowboy up and keep going through. Let's move on to our final superset. This superset is doing two exercises that are more focused at detail on the tries and the buys. We're gonna be doing reverse grip here for our triceps, and we're gonna be doing cable curls for our biceps. Here, instead of working in a pyramid, we're gonna be working 10, 10, 10 the whole way through. The Spartacus world is these gladiators that have to be aesthetically pleasing. They have to have the right combination of lean mass and you know, a size as well. Again, with the same format of everything, you've got 45 seconds rest in between. The nature of these exercises, you can't lift that much. You've blown your arms out from the previous heavy exercises. These ones, we're just going for detail. Keep in mind, guys, tempo. Every repetition is about three seconds long. Two seconds up, one second down. Explode through the hard part. One second, one, two. Every second is accounted for. Even the duration of the actual repetitions. If you take too long or too short, 1,140 seconds 
It's gonna be out of whack. You're not gonna get this workout done in 19 minutes. Enjoy that 45 seconds rest, because it's over real quick. By the end of it, every people were just like lining up. Like I started off there and they're like, oh, you're training with Ty? Okay, sure, go have a good time. I'm, I'm going down to my gym. By the end of uh, War of the Damned, everyone's like, yeah. taking a number, taking a number. That's right, that's right. <laughs> it was funny, yeah. and I was like, stay away from my dude. Good news, supersets are over. <laughs> Bad news, we've got two standalone exercises that we're gonna go to failure on each one, but it's max. So we're looking super high reps. Okay guys, we're approaching the end of our workout. All the supersets are done. We're now concentrating on two exercises, two standalone exercises. One for the tries, one for the buys. The little difference here, there's no rep range. You're going to maximum failure. The first one we're going to do is tricep bench dips. We do this one first because the reps that you hit, you set the mark for your biceps, because then we're going to pick a weight that we're going to fail around the same rep range. I want to at least hit over 20. I want to blow my rep range out. Same tempo though. It's the only one, 19 minutes, that there's a little bit of leeway. Because I don't know how many reps you're going to do here. I don't know how many reps I'm going to do here. So it could be a little bit under, a little bit over the 19 minutes. Nutrition is hugely important. They have to have the right amount of proteins in, they've got to have the right amount of carbs at the right time to peak for the workout and trigger recovery as well. Supplementation is really, really big. I'm a firm believer in supplementing with our glutamine and BCAAs. But we're filling the muscle. Lactic acid is building up. This is where tempo goes. You just get it out, you start pumping. that one count. Use that gladiator mentality. This is the one I used to push Liam really, really hard on. In fact, this is the one I made him throw up on himself and still made him to keep going. Bench dips. I've got about 35 reps out there. Now, I need to take that number, that 35, and transition that over into my bicep curls. I need to select a weight that I can know that I'm gonna get around about that 30 mark. So you're gonna be lifting lighter than what you normally do. So check your ego. We're going for maximum failure in a high rep range. It's what I call pump curls. One, two. To train these guys has been absolutely epic. We've become a family. We've been four years together training to put these guys through their paces every day and we, we build a bond. Now this is the only one from the start that tempo has gone out the window. It's your last exercise. Time doesn't matter now. I'm excited for you to be able to do this workout with some of these people for bodybuilding. Oh, I can't wait to show. Yeah, no, it's I mean, because these are the actual workouts that I made you do. Yeah, it just it takes discipline, but it's a realistic life change. Yeah. I think that's what, I mean, that's what you brought me, and I appreciate that so much. So you're welcome. Go out and knock them dead, man. And that is the end of the 19-minute gladiator arm workout. Remember, this is only one of the 19-minute workouts in this program format, but the key principles that transfer over to all of them is time management. Each workout is 1,140 seconds long and every second is accounted for. For the full Spartacus program, check out the page below. There's also a chest workout, back workout, shoulders and legs, as well as the arm workout that we just did. Training is only one part of this. Supplementation and nutrition are the key factors to making this work. Now, if you got those in check, you're gonna get the results. A living testimony to that is Liam. Over two seasons following this exact workout, exact nutrition, he gained over 20 pounds of muscle. Now, if you've got any questions, check out my personal website, championnutrition.net.nz. But for more Spartacus content, check out bodybuilding.com. We'll make final stand against Rome, so that all may live free. Prepare the men for march. I will press towards Spartacus. Whatever happens to my people, we decide our fate.